How are you viewers? Welcome back to another video. Um, video is going to take me a little bit longer to make because I've got an injured spine. It's making it hard for me to get around. Anyway, so this is what I've got going. Apart from a couple of boards like this, most of it's all fingers. Normally I would just put them in AP. Um, however, as well as the normal fingers, like that, there's also some that are e neg. Uh, can't really find any off the top of them straight away, but e neg ones are. I think it's an e neg one. Uh, it's hard to explain what e neg means, but it's like most of these are gold leaf stuck to the board whereas e-neg is kind of like painted on someone else may be able to correct me that may may not be the best way to describe it but basically it's uh, different and every single time i put e-neg into ap it never comes off we end up putting it back through ap three four five times and it never ever comes off not completely so I'm going to put the, I decided I'll put them through a nitric bath to remove the gold and then into AP. If nitric doesn't get it off the board, then I'll just put the board in AP. So when I decided that, I figured I might as well just start collecting all fingers and do a big batch, which is what I've got here. These are from a internet router. So everything that's in there is just fingers apart from that. And then I just found these got quite a bit of gold on them. Now there's some solder on there, so these ones are gonna to have to sit in some hydrochloric acid to get rid of the tin. This one here is negligible. You could say, oh, well, that should just go in AR, AP because there's not much gold. But when you turn it over, there's quite a bit. So I'm just gonna put those few pieces into uh, HCL. And all this is going to sit in some diluted nitric to try and strip all the gold off and then into AR and we'll see how we go. I haven't weighed it, my scales are broke, but I'm guessing, and I'm a butcher by trade, so I'm not too bad at guessing weights, I would say a kilo and a half and for the Americans is 2.2 pound or kilo. So, uh, you can do the math. And for everyone who thinks I don't clean my beakers, because I know it looks like I don't, but you can see I do. So, I've got nice clean beakers to start with. This one here should be big enough for maybe this one. Yeah, I'll put it in this one. All right, and we'll see how we go bit of brown in the bottom of that one I couldn't get off. If anybody knows a really good way to clean glassware, I'd like to know because I could never get them completely spotless. Anyway, let's, let's get into it. Well, it was a good guess using that beaker because uh, <laughs> it's just the right size. So I half filled it with water at the moment. And I'm going to put some nitric in there and then fill it up the top with water again that way it stirs up the nitric and it gets all the way through it because that's going to be too hard to stir, stir and as time goes on and the boards have released their fingers I'll pick them out and eventually get down to no boards alright all right, so it's been on for a couple of days now uh, I've just tipped all the solution into this beaker here you can see quite a bit of gold down there and missing off the boards it's caught in a few different places so what I'm going to do now is squirt each of these boards off one by one into here to catch the gold any of the boards that still have gold on them that hasn't released will go back into here and soak for a bit longer and I hope to reduce quite a lot of these boards down to nothing um, if I manage to get every board in here then I'll be able to filter the gold 
Now this one here is a perfect example of Eneg. That's what I was telling you about. This one here, you can see most of the gold hasn't come off. When I squirt it, it might be a different story, but if you look at that one, and then you look at that one there, it's clean, that had fingers on it, this one's Eneg. So, you see the difference in the, the size of the lines of this one, and that one there, when I squirt that one, it will more than likely come off. So, maybe they, there's quite a few of them that need longer, I don't know yet, we'll find out soon enough. But that's what I'm up to now. Okay, so I've been through all the boards and squirted all the gold off. Uh, the gold's just sitting on them and hasn't made its way to the bottom of the beaker. So as soon as you get to it with a spray bottle, it just, just falls off. Um, it's 99% of the boards all nice and clean. I filtered the nitric acid into this beaker I've got, which is, the, sorry, this uh, funnel. This, this gauze is the best thing ever. Gold doesn't go through it, but the liquid does. I was able to squirt the gold back into the beaker. There's just a handful of boards that didn't have the gold off, and this is like the e neg I was telling you about, how hard it is to get the e neg off. Um, so I half expected this to happen, but the benefit of putting it in nitric acid, what I've achieved, and I'm going to hopefully achieve, is to get as much copper out of the board as possible. Because they'll just go straight into AR. Um, if I can get all the copper out, I'll have a nice clean mix. So what I'm going to do is put a little bit of this filtered nitric, just a little bit of it, back into here with some more clean nitric and boil those a bit longer. And then whatever doesn't come off, we'll just go into AR along with this here. Okay, so I finished the nitric acid. I boiled the last of the, the boards. There's still a little bit of gold on them, which is what expected. But a lot of it's come off. The main thing is most of the copper is now gone, so this will hopefully be a fairly clean mix. It won't be entirely clean, you still see some green on the boards, but it'll be pretty clean. So now, just going to put some hydrochloric acid. There's a bit of water in there, but that's okay. It's not going to hurt it. I'll put some uh, hydrochloric acid in. Just enough to cover the boards. And I'm going to add tiny bits of nitric as, as I need them. Um, one pipette full at a time. And then when I see that there's no more gold flakes, I'll know that there's enough nitric. You can't afford to over nitric, otherwise you'll have problems dropping the gold. So now I'll put them on a bit of heat on. Doesn't need to be very high, just one will do. And... Uh, I'll let that sit. I'll put a cover on it in a second. And uh, let it sit after about half an hour or so. If I still see any gold flakes, I'll know that I need to put a little bit more nitric in there. I just gave it a stir and I can just see some faint things floating around in there. Uh, most of the gold has dissolved. But I'm going to put one more squirt of nitric in and that'll be enough um, I don't expect to get a lot of money, uh, gold out of this it wasn't really a lot it looks like a lot when you see all those foils but it doesn't mount up to much I'll be lucky to get half a gram I reckon but uh, I'll just give that a chance to cook and the gold should be d dissolved real soon and I'll put the lid back on and you should be able to see I'll put the heat up a little bit. You should be able to see some fumes um, start appearing soon. And then when the fumes stop, you'll know that there's no more reaction or the gold's dissolved. Well, all the gold is dissolved. And it's time to take it off the heat. And let it cool down and then filter it. As you can see, it's a nice yellow colour. There's no contamination from copper, which was the whole idea of putting in nitric. Um, so hopefully, with a really nice yellow coloured aquaridia, there should be a really good gold drop with probably 
a nice chocolate brown colour as opposed to the black soot that I've been getting. And we'll see, so I've got to let it cool down and then filter it and then we'll drop the gold. Okay, so I've dropped the gold, I'm sorry, filtered the gold, and now I'm going to pour in the SMB and see what we've got. There's some in the beaker I've got to squirt, I need two hands for that, so I'll do that now. Well, it's taking a while, but it's slowly starting to change colour, and that usually indicates that there's not much gold. I'll give it a little while and then test it to see if there's any more in solution. Maybe I haven't put enough SMB in. But I'm not expecting a lot, so I'd say that's all there's going to be. It'll get darker and darker over the next hour or so. I'll come back later. I'll put some more SMB in and we've got the white foam on top that you're supposed to get. Uh, it's changed darker slowly and it's continuing to change but there's no point adding any more SMB as there really won't be a lot of gold in there. I'm just going to have to let this change slowly until it clears and see what's there. Alright, the gold has dropped. There's a few little moths that have landed on top. That's no big deal. Um, it's not a very clear solution. I don't know why. But there is a decent layer of gold in the bottom. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to filter this off. Because it looks like there may be some gold around the edges as well. So I'm just going to filter it all, catch what I can. And I'll refine it. Um, there could be some gold in suspension in the, in the liquid as well. It should be a lot cleaner next time. I don't know why it's like this now. I have tested it as negative. I initially did put a little bit more SMB in than what I started with. Um, there's definitely no more gold in solution. It shouldn't have been a dirty mix. It was very clean, but that's what it is. So I'll, I'll uh, filter it now and then refine it. Well, it seems that the solution wasn't dirty after all. Uh, as I thought, it should be nice and clean like that. Um, it's just gold in suspension. And you can see a lot of it caught in the paper already. So that's good to know. I'll let that keep filtering, it'll take an hour or so. So it's finished filtering. There's the gold, a nice chocolate colour, which is really good. As you would have seen in my last video, I normally get dark black soot. But because the mix was so clean, it's come up really good. But Still need to wash it. It's always, always, always important to wash it. So there's one or three water washers or hot boiling water. When that settles, I'll pour the water off and do two more. Then hydrochloric acid, boil, and then three more water washers.